okay, well, um, yeah, after a while uh, staring at this diagram here, uh, you realise it's quite simple, because the opposite just refers to the, uh, the y-axis of the point, and the adjacent just refers to the x-axis, so it, it's not difficult. But it can be confusing, so I wanted to go through that in some detail. Let's just draw my quadrants again. This is quadrant 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'm going to work, I'm going to remind myself what signs, and there's theta, that's a standard triangle, yeah? Opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse. Sine, socata, socator. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Now, the hypotenuse is always positive. So, if I'm interested in sine theta, then it turns out that if I want the sine of an angle down here, you can see that the opposite is negative, but it turns out that because the hypotenuse is always um, positive, we know that sine theta is greater than zero or less than zero, depending on um, depending on what. It depends on whether the opposite opposite side is positive or negative. Okay, so for quadrants three and four, we know that sine theta is negative. Sine theta is well. Let's try. Let's just have a table of this. So we've got the quadrant one, two, three, and four, and here we know that sine theta is positive. For quadrant two, sine theta is positive. For quadrant 3, we've come down, so the opposite is negative because we've fallen down. So that tells me that the sine theta is less than 0. And for quadrant 4, it's just the same. We've just gone a bit further. Sine theta is also less than 0. And we can do the same for cos. Cos theta is positive in quadrant 1. In quadrant 2, cos theta is negative because it's the cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay? So cos theta is negative because it's adjacent, which is negative over hypotenuse. Quadrant 3, cos theta is less than 0, and cos theta is greater than 0 in quadrant 4 because the adjacent uh, side is positive. Okay, I'm going to stop there.